In this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our Canon EOS R to an iPhone. First of all, we need to jump into the App Store and search for Canon Camera Connect. Once we've located this app and we hit install, we can now come back across to the camera, press the menu key. Whilst this is loading, we can go through the camera setup. Locate the fifth yellow menu. You'll see wireless communication settings. You need to jump into there for a moment. On Wi-Fi settings, we now need to enable this. We can come backwards by pressing the menu key on the screen or the menu button on the camera. We then surf down to Wi-Fi function. In here, it'll ask us to register a nickname for the camera. I'm just gonna stick with the standard EOS R name. Menu to press OK. Press OK one more time. What it's gonna ask now is what kind of device would you like to connect to? And today we're using a smartphone. It asks, do we wanna register a device for connection? Yes, we do. Once we've done that, here's an opportunity for us to enable a QR code for us to take a photo with our phone to scan straight to the correct app for our device. In this case, we've already found it on the App Store, just searching Canon Camera Connect. So in this case, I'm gonna select Do Not Display. Next, what will occur is the camera will start broadcasting a new SSID, or a Wi-Fi for short. So if we jump out of the Camera App Store now and look at the settings on our phone, we should be able to jump into Wi-Fi and we should locate the EOS R-524 Wi-Fi code. Within here, it will now ask for a password, which we can clearly see at the bottom of the camera screen. Once we've typed this in, and this is automatically generated by the camera. We can then join that Wi-Fi. Once we see the connection occur at the top of the screen, the tick has appeared, we can jump out of settings. We can then launch the Canon Connect app. It will automatically detect the Canon EOS R. All we need to do now is press on that camera to confirm, coming across to the camera to confirm that the phone has access. This will take a couple of seconds and then the camera will be connected. At this stage now, let's have a look at some of the features that the app offers us. Firstly, remote live shooting. This connects to the camera and gives us every bit of information that we can see on the screen. Because I've selected manual mode, I have the ability here to change my shutter speed. I can change my aperture. And of course, I get a live view of what's happening on screen. I can also change my ISO to compensate for the image. Once I'm happy with my exposure, all I need to do is take the shot. Another feature within this live shooting mode is to record video. We will get a display message there, which we just need to acknowledge. At the moment, we are set in 4K crop. We have the ability to change this. Maybe we want to do full HD. Again, I have the ability to change my shutter speed so I can get the correct exposure and press start stop to record my video. Once I've completed this, I can exit this portion of the app. The other options that we have here are to view some of the images that are on the actual camera. If I like this image, for example, and I would like to download that to my phone to then post to social media or share with others, I can simply select the download option on this particular file. It will then ask me, do I want a reduced sized file or would I like it the original size? Once you've made this selection, press OK and the download will be completed to your phone. To disconnect the camera from your phone, we can do this a number of ways. The easiest way is to access the menu on the camera, go back into Wi-Fi communication settings, go to the Wi-Fi settings and disable the Wi-Fi. Once this is completed, you'll notice that the app will disconnect from the camera. To reconnect, I just need to reverse that process, press menu, wireless communications, wireless settings, re-enable, give the phone a moment or two to detect that and the reconnection will automatically occur.